All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x is equal to 36. So to start, I'm gonna start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log nine to the power of x is equal to log 36. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So that's gonna equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log nine to the power of x, and we can think of x as b. So we can move this to the front. And now this is gonna equal x times log nine is equal to log 36. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide both sides by log nine so we can isolate x. So now I have x times log nine over log nine is equal to log 36 over log nine. So then these two log nines simply cancel out. And I have x is equal to log 36 over log nine. Now, log 36 over here, we can rewrite as log of 9 times 4. And we have this over log 9. So if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 9 times 4, and I can rewrite that as log 9 times, or sorry, log 9 plus log 4. Now I have this over log 9. So now, this is the same thing as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. Now, log 9 and log 9, these two obviously cancel out. So now I get x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 9. And log 4, I can rewrite as log of 2 squared. Log 9, I can rewrite as log of 3 squared. So now this is the same thing as 2 times log 2 over 2 times log 3. And the 2's can simply cancel out. So I'm left with x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 3. Now log 2 over log 3, that's the same thing as 0 0.301 over 0 0.477, which is equal to 0 0.631, so x is 1.631. All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x is equal to zero. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with five to the power of x is equal to zero. And now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So now I have log five to the power of x is equal to log zero. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent and b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So log five to the power of x, we can think of a as five and b as x. So I can move x here to the front. So now I'm gonna have x times log five is equal to log zero. Now, from here, 
I'm going to simply divide both sides by log 5 because we want to find the value of x, so we're going to have to isolate it. So then these two cancel out. And I am left with x is equal to log 0 over log 5. Now we're actually going to plug in the values of log 0 and log 5. So log 5, this is equal to 0 0.5. 6990 and log 0 well what is log 0 equal to log 0 is actually undefined so I have x is equal to undefined over 0 0.6990 meaning x is simply undefined and Another way to actually prove this is our equation was 5 to the power of x equals 0, right? Well, 5 to the power of 0, this is equal to 1. Let's do 1 less than 0. 5 to the power of negative 1, this is equal to 1 over 5. Let's do 1 less. 5 to the power of negative 2, this is equal to 1 over 25. 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 1 over 125, sorry, 5 to the power of negative 3. And this is going to go lower and lower and lower because, as you see, as the exponent decreases, the number decreases as well. However, it's actually never going to approach 0. So no matter how low the exponent might be, we could even do 5 to the power of negative one trillion or something like that and it's never actually going to be zero all right so in this problem i have m to the power of 21 plus m to the power of 14 is equal to 36. so i'm going to first rewrite m to the power of 21 as m to the power of 7 times 3 and m to the power of 14 as m to the power of 7 times 2. so if i have something in the form a to the power of m times n this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So m to the power of 7 times 3, that's m to the power of 7 to the power of 3, and m to the power of 7 times 2, that's m to the power of 7 to the power of 2, is equal to 36. Now I'm going to let m to the power of 7 equal to the variable a. So now I have a to the power of 3 plus a squared is equal to 36. So now I'm going to subtract 36 on both sides. And I get a to the power of 3 plus a squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Now I can rewrite a squared here as negative 3a squared plus 4a squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Now I can go ahead and factor by grouping. So from a to the power of 3 minus 3a squared, I can factor off a squared, so I get a squared times a minus 3 plus from 4a squared minus 36, factor out 4, so I get 4 times a squared minus 36. And a squared minus 36 Sorry, this is actually a squared minus 9. So for a squared minus 9, I get a plus 3 times a minus 3 is equal to 0. So now if I factor out a minus 3, I get a minus 3 times a squared plus 4 times a plus 3 is equal to 0. And this is the same thing as a minus 3 times 
a squared plus 4a plus 12 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have a minus 3 is equal to 0, meaning a is equal to 3. And a squared plus 4a plus 12 is equal to 0. So to solve that, we can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times ac. Well, let's look at this part. Square root of b squared minus 4ac. So b in this case is 4. So we have the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 12. Well, this is the same thing as 16 minus 48. The square root of this, which is square root of negative 36, and you can't take the square root of negative numbers, so this is wrong. And my only solution is a equals 3. So now remember how we let m to the power of 7 equal a. So now we have m to the power of 7 is equal to 3, meaning m is equal to the 7th root of 3.